There are no ordinary places. There are only known places and unknown space. There are things that are recorded that a human voice will speak and other things that can never be known. The Diamondback Explorer Finch was on its second expeditionary mission to the system of Zeta Leporis, 70 light years from Sol. I did 18 kilometers in my last traverse from the foot of Mount Timberline, this volcanic cone in front of me, and I got halfway across this plain which extends to my left and behind me. I found a skimmer site, I'm getting pretty comfortable dealing with those and I filled my cargo hold with loot and then uh, came back to Zeta Camp here at the foot of this mountain. Roughly at minus 35, minus 153. There's like a canyon on the other side of it, that's pretty cool. The nights were short and dark. Every couple of hours the moon rotated away from the star and my buggy explored in darkness. Reaching beyond Zeta Camp, I boarded the Diamondback Explorer and found dark red canyons cut into the moon's rocky surface. I'm getting a point of interest reading at 11 kilometers up here, which is a very strong reading. 13 kilometers is still saying point of interest. I'm gonna go and unload because my hold is full, I keep finding stuff, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do some more mapping. Okay, we're going to Zeta Leporis ABC1E, which is the closest station. It's extremely convenient. Seems like actually quite a busy system. You can see all the NPCs behind me. There's a ton of people around. Yeah, I wonder if I can pick up something like a keel back. And now I'm in a system that I like and I'm interested in. I can just whip around in a keel back and get it to pick up any loot that my SRV finds. Oh wow, check this out. So we've got the Iotite moon right next to normal kind of rocky body. This is very cool. It's a planetary outpost run by the independent Zeta Leporis Democrats. It'd be cool to get some rep up with them. Looks like a very small facility. Uh -oh. Hopefully it's mostly underground eh? Well, it's underground all right, but there's no shipyard. Only outfitting. So I, I could get some cargo racks for my DBX, but that's it. So I just found out that none of the stations that I can tell, these two stations don't have a shipyard. The landfall ones here could, but we don't have information without landing on them. Despite the lack of facilities, I decided to camp at Stevenson Beacon for the night, but I slept lightly. My dreams were brimming not only with the amazing sights I'd seen, but the things that I'd come to Zeta Lepurus to find. Things that weren't on any of the maps. Alright, you see on the radar that little blue dot? Little blue dot of that type is likely to be a sign of volcanism or materials in some kind of geothermal vent. Now I'm split between wanting to rise up to 2k where my scanner will see it and drop down towards the ground where I'll be able to get a visual. Ah, no look, the, the blue dot is back there. I've, I've flown over it already. How did I miss that? I don't see anything. Hmm, well, I'll park up and have a look at this mining facility. I decided to head to the two planets at the centre of the system, right next to the A-class star. I was using a YouTube guide to help me by High Beyond. I'll link it in the video description. There he talks about the criteria that makes it more likely that you'll find volcanism. If tidal locking means that one face is pointing towards the parent body, then that side is more likely to have volcanism. Similarly, if there's a day and night cycle, head for the day side and then after that you want to be looking at canyons in the bottom of those that are discolored. These are the most likely places to find volcanic plumes and vents. I spotted one here on A2, look at this, look how much darker the bottom of this crater is. Even if you find the right canyon it takes a bit of time. I came across one of these points of interest that I like to call a petrol station so 
Time for a little refuel, I guess. I've just seen something down here. Look down there. You see? This is what I was searching for on Moon A. <laughs> so I believe it's silicate magma is the volcanism on this world. There's so many of them. Looks like only a few of them are actually active. So it's going to be interesting to watch this over time and see how many more become active. At which times. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and crash into the ground. I'm so excited about this. Well, let's set down here. As soon as I landed, I started investigating the individual vents. Some of them were just glowing and inactive. Others were violently aflame. Now look, there's a crystal formation on that one in the foreground. It just became less active and then I saw the, the crystal next to it. So let's get the coordinates to make this discovery official. Uh, Zeta Leporis A2, minus 458651 latitude, minus 9.7760 longitude. Hmm, this one says needle crystals. <laughs> Look at that little thing rolling like a little hedgehog or something. Oh man, it's polonium inside, crazy. Now these Pisces cobbles that are uh, kind of less exotic looking uh, seem to be really good at rolling down the hill and they have less valuable minerals in it seems. They're like the lower tier I think. I was amazed at the richness of the lava field. Not only was it a beautiful sight to visit but many of the vents seem to have resources and some of the rarest and most valuable at that. I ended up chasing Pisces cobbles around the volcanic field and then decided to get closer to one of the vents for further investigation. I sat there, transfixed, mesmerized by the fire, and only then noticed that there was a light flashing inside my cab. I guess I was next to the vent too long, my SRV is overheating. I can't be certain that nobody's ever visited these vents before. I've looked on the forums and there was a set of vents found in the beta in this system on Moon A that I was looking at before. But as far as I can tell, I am the first to find these vents, so I will provisionally call this Chimnia Field. It's right in the bubble next to Sol, so I do hope you get a chance to visit. I'll be coming back next time to investigate further. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.